All right, and so now uh, we're uh, already logged in. And so in order to create a, um, let's go back to the homepage here. Uh, in order to create a, uh, a, a, a label for your USPS package um, without going to the post office, um, and just give it to your mailman. Uh, your mailman, um, they're pretty much um, willing to take anything at, at this point because they're advertising that they take your package and all that. So um, first thing you want to do is create your label. So you want to click on here, just browse over mail and ship, and then uh, click on print and ship. Uh, don't worry about any of this other stuff here. Just click on print and ship, and then um, it will show your address up at the top here. Uh, and um, uh, that's the return address in case um, your package do not get delivered. Um, you know, you can click on, uh, I would like tracking notifications, um, shipping from a different zip code. All that stuff uh, might is just uh, optional. You don't have to do all that. Um, you want to put in the uh, information for where your package is going. Um, so I'm just going to put in... Uh, uh, first name, uh, Parker, um, all right, and, uh, let's just put in a, uh, uh, maybe a company name here, Right. John Shippen ordered something from us, so we're going to ship it to him, and he's going to be at uh, 84 uh, Palomo Wood Drive, Mississauga, and uh, 844, actually. And uh, this is in Canada, so, uh, you know, U.S., um, uh, you know what, let's, um, let's, let's just, um, Use an address in the uh, United States so that um, uh, it will it will work a little better because otherwise it's not going to get verified. So we're going to do go ahead and uh, uh, choose a different address here. So let's just choose a uh, uh, I don't know uh, PO Box 511, and that's in uh, Allendale, New Jersey. Right, and 18401, uh, All right, and it wants you to choose a date. Now, if you're going to ship today, you just choose today's date. Uh, if you're not going to ship today, you have to choose a, a future date. Let's say you're, you know, uh, you're sending a, a letter to uh, John, you know, Jane to uh, ship the package to Jane. You're going to email the uh, lady to Jane. Jane's going to get to it tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday, so you know, just probably put it on for Thursday or Friday. Um, some of the post office are giving you a hard people a hard time if you um, like you put today's date and then you don't ship it tomorrow. They'll give you a hard time. They don't want to take the package. Yeah, it's stupid, but um, they do that. So put a future date always. They're always going to take a future package, um, and uh, they can't ask you anything about that. Um, all right, and then you want to um, say, are you going to ship flat rate or are you going to enter a package rate? Now, if you um, have, you have to be familiar with the uh, boxes that USPS uses. Uh, they have the small box, they have the uh, medium box, and they have the large box. Uh, they don't fit really that much. So if you have a big package or a bulky package or something that you don't know what the pound is going to be, um, you don't know what the story is going to be, you want to put it in the pounds. Uh, you would click over here, and then you could put in the pound, say, say 10 pounds or whatever, right? Um, and uh, you don't have to fill this in unless you're shipping something really expensive. You don't have to fill this in. Um, I think you might, uh, let's go fill that in and, and see what it does. I think you might get charged a little more. So let's go, uh, let's say the value is, uh, I don't know, $2,000, uh, just for argument's sake, right? Um, and uh, we're, you know, putting in the poundage here, right? And then we're going to go ahead and say view available services and prices or come back with some pricing, all right? So if you see here, um, even though we're shipping um, to um, 
to be frank here, we're shipping to the same town. So we're shipping from Allendale and we're shipping back to Allendale. We look down here. So we're only getting charged um, 825, choose your own box. Right, so you can choose your own box here. Uh, you can choose prior to mail, flat mail envelope. You can choose a small flat rate, flat, flat rate box. You can choose the medium box or you can choose the padded flat envelope. Um, for some reason, the large box isn't on here. I don't know if they stopped doing that, but um, there's usually a large box that you were able to you know, just scroll on here and see if it's on the bottom. All right, so here we go. Um, we have some more options here. So we can choose, um, you know, some other boxes. Um, a lot of these are, are um, you know, you'll get used to when you start to ship, you know, you'll know which box is which. Just choose a box. Usually I find that the if we if you use their boxes, if you can fit the stuff in their boxes uh, with their, you know, you know, logo on it and all that stuff, um, you, um, you pay a little less. So if you look at this here, um, you look at these prices, you're 828 uh, for your own box. Um, and then if you choose that, but if you choose any one of these other boxes here, um, you know, a lot of them are a lot cheaper. A lot of them are like five and change. Um, some of them are a little higher, but um, most of them, as you can see, is very, very low, low pricing um, if you use their own boxes. If you use your own, if you use your box, a lot of times you pay more. All right, so that's pretty much um, how you um, look at the uh, pricing and choosing boxes. Once you choose your box, we're going to go ahead and choose our own box here because, you know, we're not too sure what the size is going to be and we're not we're going to be able to fit in one of those boxes. So, um, um, this is always going to be checked, insure for entire package value. Um, and um, UPS tracking is free. You're going to get tracking for free here. Uh, signature services. Uh, just click on none because if you click on this here, they're going to want to have you somebody sign for the package. Uh, if you definitely require somebody to sign for the package and you want to click on about signature required, uh, restricted delivery, uh, whatever this means. If you need to know what it means, you click on here and then it tells you pretty much what that means in terms of um, the um, the option that you choose. All right. Once you're done there, you're OK. Check it over. Make sure everything is good. Um, and you can go ahead and go add to cart. OK, so uh, right here. Um, Actually, uh, I missed one thing here. Let's see if I can go back. All right, so here we are. Um, I, think I, I think we actually um, lost the uh, data there from there. So here we are. All right, so um, here we are. They're charging us $35. Um, so it's $8 for priority mail. And then they're pretty much uh, the insurance is 27.65, right? So um, here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and edit, right? And uh, it looks like because we we added the insurance in here, then they're charging us um, uh, for insurance. Uh, so let's just uh, remove that. That way, we don't have to pay any extras because you know it's just a bunch of boxes that we're sending. We don't need to ensure that. All right, so just update the label. And then now you just paying for the actual shipping and no insurance. Then you just click on next, go to billing. And now you get to this page. So you get um, uh, the uh, declaration here that you have to check off. And then you also um, can uh, pay by PayPal or uh, you can use a, a credit card. Uh, I usually just use a credit card um, and, uh, you know, pay for whatever I pay for on here. Then you just put in your credit card information, right? And uh, I'm not going to go ahead and put in any credit card information here, but um, um, once you uh, put your credit card information here, it will basically go next, pay and print, and um, you pretty much have your label on screen. You can just print it out and... Um, and uh, take it to the, you know, the box and uh, stick it on. All right, and that's pretty much how you uh, create a label using the USPS.